Hi everyone. Have you ever wondered how do schools get built? How do houses get built? Churches and office buildings. I bet you are saying construction workers, but the construction worker cannot work without an architect. Today, we are going to be architects. We are going to enter a wonderful world of drawing and making blueprints for buildings. Stay tuned. An architect is a person who designs buildings and prepares plans to give to a builder, like a construction worker. Architects decide the size, shape, and what the building will be made from. Architects need to be good at math and drawing. They need an imagination. So today, we are going to make a 14 square foot home blueprint. Before we can become a perfect architect and build a floor plan, we must first understand how the size of a house is determined. The size of the house is determined by the square footage. The square footage tells us the total size of the home. The square footage is determined by the area. The area of a room is the total size of the home, which is length times width. The length of the home times the width of the home. The same way the entire home can have a square footage, each room can have a square footage. So we're going to learn how to find the square footage of a room. Let's say we had a room that was a square. And the room had walls that was six feet long and six feet wide. Because it's a square, all sides are the same. So we have the length of this square and the width of this square. To find the square footage, we are going to multiply six times six. This tells me that my room is 36 square feet. That is the area of the room. Let's say we had a room that was the shape of a rectangle. And this room is eight feet wide and 10 feet long. Can find my area right. simply by multiplying. Let's find the area of a larger times room. my width. Let's say the garage, which gives me an, and in my garage area, I want a two car garage. 80 square feet. Notice and every garage, time I find my area, I always give the unit designation. 40 feet square feet. Long. Now, let's do a larger room. Let's say two feet wide. I can find the area by decomposing this rectangle into smaller segments. For instance, if I break the 40 feet down and cut it in half, that gives me 20 feet on both sides. Remember, 20 plus 20 on this side gives me a total of 40 feet from left to right. Now, I do the same over here. I have 22 feet. I can break this down in two parts. Let's do 10 feet and 12 feet. Now, all I do is multiply each box. I have 20 feet and 10 feet, which gives me 200. All right? Square feet. I have 20 feet and 10 feet again, which gives me 200 square feet. 
Here, I have 200 times 12. What is 200 times 12? Great. 240 square feet. And the same here. 240 square feet. Now, I take all of these and add them together. 200 plus 200 plus 240 plus 240. 2468. 880 square feet is the total area of my garage. Stop it. Now, inside of your home, you have to determine how large you want each room. For instance, I want my living room to be 21 feet by 15 feet. So I'm going to carve out a section of my home and call it the living room. Check out my diagram. All right, let's find the area now that you've took some time to decide how large you want each room, now is when we draw our blueprint. Our blueprint is going to be a 1,400 square foot home. Now, a 1,400 square foot home is usually 50 feet long, 28 feet wide. So you can go ahead and get on your white paper and draw 50 by 28 feet. Now, it's up to you to place your rooms in the correct position of how you want them. Be sure to go back in the video if you need support and help. You can always take a look at my floor plan, but I want you to make your own. At this time, you should know how to find the area, how to make a floor plan, and how